Hey everybody, okay, so we're gonna do the lightning round today because I had so many questions that I'm gonna try to kind of get to everybody and and cool. So there you go. We're gonna do this quick. It's gonna be the lightning round. Which means that I'm not gonna just go on and talk about absolutely nothing for 10 minutes. Hey Jason, what lube do you think is the best? Um, I mean, okay, so there's, there's like uh, three kinds of lube. There's water-based lube, which uh, is really just used for uh, vaginal sex, and if you're gay, you don't need it. Uh, there is silicone lube, which is best for anal sex because it doesn't dry up and get sticky uh, the way that water-based lube does, and your butt isn't self-lubricating the way that a vagina is, so therefore you need the silicone lube. There's also a third kind, which is petroleum or oil-based lubes. You cannot use that for anything other than masturbation because it will harm condoms, so don't use it for fucking. Um, uh, there's, you know, these little variations here and there, like you'll get this sort of mixture of water and silicone, which uh, that's, that's fine. Some people are allergic to the silicone, in which case you kind of have to use uh, the water base. Um, and then you'll get like the flavored versions. Uh, only use that for oral sex as a sort of novelty because uh, it can lead to yeast infections, um, supposedly. Uh, I, so there, uh, that's, there you go. Does a Prince Albert increase sensitivity, or is it just for good looks? Uh, it does actually increase sensitivity, um, and uh, it does actually make you pee like a lawn sprinkler. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I do occasionally stand at a urinal and get the guy next to me, so it's, it's kind of a crap shoot, or a piss shoot, as, as, as the case may be. Um, it feels really good, but it does come with its own baggage, so you just kind of kind of know that before you go, you go into it. Is there a way to increase the amount of cum coming out and shooting? On your payback video, you shot a nice big load, and I want that, but most of the time, I just get a dribble and I rarely shoot. Um, I mean, I drink a lot of water, I drink a lot of tea, um, I eat a lot of fruit, so there's a, you know, so I'm usually kind of super hydrated, and that will absolutely increase the volume, but some guys just cum more than others, and there's not really much that you can do. Your body kind of does what it does, so... Um, you, you can definitely increase the, the volume a little bit. Um, for those of you who have seen the video where I'm wanking off and the boss catches me and I wind up coming on my shirt and, um, yeah. I wish I'd known that he was going to do that because I would have shaved. Because I, everybody else is like, oh, I love that video, it's really hot. And I'm just, all I do is look at myself and go, oh, God, I haven't shaved. I look so hairy. So I, I, I don't know. So there you go. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, water, I've heard that, like, celery kind of helps you build it up a little bit. I don't know if that's necessarily true, so, um, there, there you go. That, that's what mine generally looks like. What kind of guys do you like? Ooh, uh, I found growing, uh, up, my attraction to various men has changed. Now, in addition to smooth fit guys, it now includes almost all kinds. Hairy guys, bear types, average body types. Uh, I don't mind men with a bit of a belly now and then. Uh, fat bears, thin bears, who knows? Um, I'm like you. I, I mean, you know, I like the little, uh, you know, tattooed twinks, and I like the big bears, and I like the muscle guys, and I, I like hot guys. I don't, ca I, you know, I don't have a type. Um, which is, I, I mean, it works for me in my industry because you, you have to, you have to kind of be able to see the attractive aspects of just about everybody and, and, you know, put those in the forefront when you're shooting them. So, uh, so there you go. Um, I'd like to try water sports and orgies. How do you start? I don't even really know how to answer this. Uh, I mean, very often you'll find uh, that there's play parties, um, especially in big cities, there'll be play parties that are advertised and you can just go to them, um, you know, and, and that's a great place to start. Um, as far as trying water sports, I mean, clearly you need a guy that, you know, is, is also so inclined. Um, my suggestion is go to like a leather fetish type of bar um, with a nice yellow hanky in your back pocket and and see who comes up and talks to you. Hey man, that flagging thing, the guys back in the 70s, they knew their shit. Um, you can also, if you want, you know, I mean, uh, it's, it's probably not a bad idea, you know, use, use the internet. Meaning, um, you know, get, get, get yourself a, uh, a profile, um, 
you know, on, on one of the more kinky sites like Recon or something like that and put in your profile what you're looking to try out and people who are interested in teaching you about that will, will find you. So good luck with that. Uh, maybe you could review some toys now and then. I actually, I, I review toys a lot. Uh, like the vibrating cock rings. I don't like the vibrating cock rings. I just, it makes me feel like I've got cramps. Some people really dig them, and I just, I don't. Um, and I think that's possibly because I don't shave or even trim my pubic hair, so I've got like this big, huge, gigantic mega bush. Um, and uh, I, yeah, I, I look like I've got a muskrat down there sometimes. Um, and... Yeah, there you go. Uh, most the most real feeling dildos, uh, like the Sensafirm, those things are really expensive, but and they're really cool. Uh, I I find that the the best dildos are those uh, are. I mean, I I think the best ones to use honestly are the ones that don't have too much give to them. Stuff like the the Oxballs ones that are the pure silicone. They're totally inert. They're not. You're not going to be allergic to it or something like that. Um, I, that's, I, I think that those are the best ones. Um, how do you keep a butt plug in? Um, even the big size Colt trainer pops out, uh, and I want, if I want to wear it all day or during sex, the, the big size Colt trainer, what you might want to try doing then is getting an anchor, which is, it, it kind of looks more like a light bulb. It, it, it doesn't have that sort of conical shape. Um, I'll see if I can find an anchor and, and, and put a, thing below this video and, and answer that. And so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, maybe you could use them uh, now and then. Yeah, I don't, I, because I, uh, I don't want to, I, 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 I don't want to stick nothing in my butt. I was just on video. I, you know. Maybe one day. I don't know. I, I, you know. Uh, so there you go. Um, there's, there's Jason's lightning round. Those are the easy to answer ones really quick. Um, and, uh, enjoy. Uh, but, but we're going to do more of these, um, more of these lightning round ones. Cause these are questions that I get like all the time and they don't really warrant a 10 minute video. Um, but yeah, I have nothing funny to say at the end of this one. So, um, happy Friday.